Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to make scrolling text in Shotcut. It finally works, basically animation work with text and images on some level. We will start our project by dragging in the video, enabling the timeline, putting the video in the timeline, and we're gonna enable filters. Uh, we're gonna make sure this is selected, the clip in the timeline, press the plus in filters and add the overlay HTML filter. You might have to click on this uh, screen icon down here, the monitor icon down here to show video filters and scroll down. And then we go to overlay HTML. All right, select this one. Now you can try to enable use WebVFX JavaScript extension, but for me it just freezes the application and I cannot use it anymore. This is in version 1803. So instead press new. And it's very important that you create a folder for your project. It should be simple as close to C or D or whichever partition you're using, without white spaces, without Unicode symbols, just some super simple name. And in here you're gonna create a file called, for example, credits.htm and enter. All right, here we have a file. We can uh, see it in what you see is what you get editor and in view source mode. And uh, we need so much code that we are just gonna delete all this. And now you have to click a link in the description of this video and go get the credits code. You can just select and drag this if you want and then copy. You can also press the raw link and then you will get all this. Just press Control A and Control C, you know, Command A, Command C on Mac. Minimize this and just paste it in here. You can right click paste. All right, this alone does not work yet because of this needs, if you scroll up, this needs the web VFX library, but again, if I enable it in shortcut, currently it freezes. So we're gonna manually add this. For this you need to follow another link, and this is Illusion's shortcut web VFX framework. Just press this button, and if your browser is paranoid, just accept it. And I hope you remember your folder from earlier. You need to put the web vfx.js file in here as well. It is absolutely crucial. Now that you did that, make sure to save the credits.htm file. And now you should be able to preview. Okay, it doesn't work here. So let's go to Shotcut. Let's, by the way, save this project because Shotcut is not very stable. It could crash at any moment. I'm just going to call this credits as well. Different file ending though. And we're going to enable overlay HTML. Let's just press reload. Let's close this. Reload does not seem to do much. Okay, so let's just restart this project. Close it and just open it up again. But it's .htm. Ah, there we go, there we go. Okay, it freezes for a moment. Um, deal with it, I guess. And there it goes. And uh, perfect, if you want to t change anything, just uh, make sure you're in the Filters tab and hit Edit while it's selected. All right, and then go to source. This doesn't show here. Go to source and then, for example, uh, the smart cookie in the credits in the cast. We can just change it to super intelligent brownie. Uh, and then we I just hit control S. Uh, you can also press this button. Now let's see if it appears. All right, if this yada yada stupid title. Come on, come on, come on. Super intelligent cook brownie. There we go. Uh, we can do other stuff using CSS. Simply changing color, for example. Let's see, can we... So we cannot search in here. You can also use Notepad++, for example, to edit this. Much better. Can zoom in better. We're gonna search for... White. Nope. Zero, zero, zero. Nope. FFF. Alright, here we go color white. Let's make this one black instead. I'm gonna hit Control S to save. And if we hit reload, I'm not sure if I'm pressing it or not. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. There we go, black text. All right, there's text shadow. We can change this to FFFF to make it white. Control S to save, hit reload. And, come on, nope, come on now, there we go. Uh, wouldn't really recommend it, but you can do it. Then we can increase font sizes, cause why not? 
Yeah, the credits don't show up, so make sure to always go back to the beginning. That might be a problem. And then, w wait a minute. Did I hit reload? Did I hit save? Come on now. Oh, okay. Only the right hand side got affected. Huh. Maybe let's not overdo it that much and instead use like 36. So now let's export this thing. Just gonna use credits.mp4. Alright, and here they are. That's how you do scrolling credits. Thanks to the web VFX library. It's really hard to get uh, animation going. You can only use this HTML overlay. CSS animations don't work. jQuery.animate does not seem to work in my test, unfortunately. Web VFX does work and it's wonderful. There seems to be no stuttering. So glad that there's a solution. Hope this is useful. So have fun editing videos. Subscribe to support this channel and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!